Cameroon, West Africa, 1986. In the northwest corner of the country lies Sabum, a busy marketplace that will soon be a ghost town. Here, a tragic event will tear our region apart, throw a government into crisis, and reveal an astonishing new scientific phenomenon. The village is six miles away from Lake Neos, the lifeline for this village. But in the early hours of August 21st, death rises out of this lake. Father Anthony Bangsy was a missionary in the village at the time. Today, he's still trying to make sense of what happened. It remains very, very fresh in my mind. It was completely invisible. We could only know there was danger when you saw birds falling down and dying, the animals dying around. You couldn't see clearly. The night of August 20th, Bangzi finishes work and goes back to the room he shares with his colleague and mentor, Father Lawrence. It happened when we were asleep. I uh, woke up and opened the door and went out to get A. Because like we were suffocating inside and thought that outside we'll feel freer. And opened the door ourselves and went out. I found myself lying out the next day beside our house. I found Lawrence too there and uh, I was there lying beside him. Father, father. I tried to ask him what we were doing out because father. I didn't know what had happened. Father. And he father. wouldn't say father. anything, he wouldn't utter a word. And I tried, father, there was no way to speak even. I had lost the power of speech kind of. And then it was difficult father. to move. I was really dangling like I would fall. Father Lawrence passes away that night. Father Bangsy is one of only a few to survive. In Sabum, 500 are dead. Five miles away in the village of Neos, only six out of a population of 800 survive. Other nearby villages also suffer huge casualties. In just a few hours, nearly 2,000 people have been killed. And no one knows why.